Yes, yes, yes. I'd like to welcome y'all to another episode, episode eight of the No Polycast. It's your boy, Price the Boss, and I got my lovely co host, Carrie with two R's and two E's. Hey, you know what it is, guys. You're at the No Polycast episode eight. Mm-hmm. Lucky number eight, you know, we made it. Right, and we got, we got one of the greats, episode eight, Carrie. Who we got in the building today? Who we got in the building today? I am pleased to introduce the one and only Miss Melanie Durant in the building. Yes, In yes, the cut yes. with us right now. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us, beautiful. Thank you for having me. I just didn't know that I was supposed to have a blunt. And- oh, my gosh. And you know, <laughs> I'm so rude because I always I always get a pricey because he never has a blunt rolled for me. And I didn't even ask you if you had your blunt rolled. <laughs> right? I don't, it's okay. I don't smoke blunts. Oh, right. Yeah, I, you were telling us. make you super, super high and you just sit there like. Well, I feel like if I'm gonna, I feel like if I'm gonna smoke, I may as well put it in a a blunt. You know, if I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna. Well, people have dab their, it. their rituals and their you know their habits and their things that they stick to. You know, right? What's yeah. yours? What's your preferred smoking method? Um, Smith. Yeah, Smith with a with a proper filter. Any, and any grabba? In Ross. No, no grabba. I don't need that. And and only smoke cess, not hydro. Okay, they, okay. They have, they have done some weird stuff to the weed where it's not just weed anymore. It's like I don't know what kind of weed right? that is, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> what is this? Some, nin- nin- <laughs> some ninja turtle weed. Yeah. It's been a minute sure. since I smoked cess though. It's like, because it's hard to, it's hard to find. That is yeah, true. That's very like, rare. You know, if you if you buck into like a real Jamaican, Jamaican, Jamaican man, like he'll have it. He'll have yeah. it. <laughs> Sometimes they try to say, "Oh, that's um, this is cess," and I'm like, "Nah, big man, this is bush. This oh, is not cess. This is bush." Yeah, sometimes they try to pass it off. Actually, the best cess that I think is the one that tastes like the rum is on it, the Ray and Nephew. Jeez, Wee. you know what? I'm I didn't even about. know about that. That's exclusive, right there. I didn't even know about that. Well, I guess you gotta be Melanie to know those ones, you know. <laughs> So talk to us. Where have you been? Where you been? Where have I been? I've been here. I've been living. I've been in the States. I've been in Canada. I've been doing shows, touring with my mom. We do a show with uh, where we do uh, Tina Turner, Donna Summer, Diana Ross, and the Supremes. Yeah. Um, Gladys Knight, some uh, Pointer Sisters. We do it all. We do it all. And we mainly do casinos and corporate parties. and uh, Yeah. So basically, and, and, uh, you've been where the bag's at. You've been where the bag is at. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And right now, it's crazy because they're like, you can't perform. What? Oh and, and when they first started making announcements and stuff, one of the first things they said was, no singing. Like, wow. are you serious? What do you mean, no singing? I just felt like, how dare you? Who are you talking to? You know? Like, specific. No right? singing. The thing we need the most, people's joy and entertainment. Try to suck your joy out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like this is this is taking a hard left, you know. Like, no oh, man, nobody right. likes this. Yeah, it's getting to. So I've been, that. I've been chilling at home, you know, doing the garden, organizing stuff, you know, the, the, the linen closet, the pantry, <laughs> cleaning everything. Yeah. You know, it's like oh, change the linen, flip the mattress, some old school things. I'm like, yeah, man, now it's time to. Do music and yes. work on my images and my uh, online content and yeah, like this thing gave me time. I was just running around the bushes recording a music video. Right. <laughs> and it looks it looks proper. It looks proper. Like thank you. The one thank thing I, so I can much. say is that yeah. the, you're doing a very good um transition. You know what I mean? Because the game is forever changing, and especially with this um this quarantine and Corona thing going on, everyone has to like kind of switch up. How they do certain things, right? So, yeah. how do you, how do you like, um, how can I say? It? How do you handle the adjustment after adjustment after adjustment when it comes to the game? I'm a very, I'm a very creative person. It's like when they said, okay, you can only have so many people in a room. I was like, forget it. I don't need them. I did hair. I did makeup. I did costuming. I styled myself. I changed like five, t- five times. Mm-hmm. I did, I did set deck. I direct. I mean, I yeah, directed it too, but I. First, I had to make a lot of lists 
and a lot of boxes that contained what I would need, and the list said what time I would need it. Like, for example, with the video, I knew that I'd never been in it. Number one, it was a mansion. Never been in there before. First on the list, scope out the bathroom, start to run the tub, and step and uh, decorate the place. Then I could go get in hair and makeup, even though there's nobody running at me trying to fix me. It's me. Yeah. But at least my first look was to just be in a robe and a towel on my head. I was like, this is the best idea ever. Yeah. I didn't realize how, how good of an idea it was until it was like this, this, that. Okay, oh my God, I'm ready. Okay, and go. Next outfit was set all garment bag, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was there to help me too. So, That's what's up. yeah, between me and her, just did everything we could. And you just got to roll with punches. You got to do what you got to do. And they, they can't stop you. Exactly. Here, the only thing that can stop you is your imagination and your own creativity. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Definitely. It's true. You know, you see a lot of people thrive in instances like this, you know, where, where you're trying to, they're trying to keep you in, enclosed and keep you from doing in anything. Right? You see a lot of people like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They want to do even more things and get even more creative because, you know, some people. That's right. Yeah. You know? That's when you customize the box. Hey, look, I made a window. Exactly. <laughs> right? That's, <mine. laughs> That's exactly how you have to be. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. That's amazing that you can that you can do that and you can show other people how, how you can do that. Because, you know, a lot of people might look at things and, and be, you know, taken aback even wanting to do a project because like, okay, now I have to find somebody to do this. I have to find somebody to do that. Okay, that person canceled on me because of COVID or this person, can't, that you know, like they're going to get overwhelmed, you know. They're looking at it completely wrong. So you're showing them the complete other way you can look at things when it comes to what might be a, a barrier. You're like, no, 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 listen, you make yourself, train yourself to be able to, do whatever you need to get done yourself and not have to rely on anybody else. So that's dope. Definitely. I think it's very important that your will to do what you have to do, to execute what you have to do, are strong is stronger than your excuses of why you can't do it. Yep. Exactly. Can you say that one more time? Because I like I like what you said. No? (laughs) I pay you. I pay you. Because that's some advice worth paying for right there. That's some advice worth paying for right there. I don't know what I said. I said you have to make sure that your will and your drive is stronger than your excuses. Mm-hmm. Yes. So for those listening, your will and your drive has to be stronger than your excuses. So if you have an excuse that's really holding you down, then your will has to be even stronger to lift that weight up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You can forever have excuses. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's dope. And shout out to you, man. Dropped a whole album in a lockdown. Mm-hmm. And a video. And a video. Right, album just, just dropped yesterday. Yeah, just getting and warmed she just up. just getting warmed up. Album just dropped yesterday, right? Yep, that's where right. I'm at. Mm-hmm. Are you back, girl? And where could they where could they find that? MelanieDurant.com. Mm-hmm. All the links are, are on my website at MelanieDurant.com. Available on every major streaming platform. Are you still um, with a major label? No. Do you miss the label, or do you love being no. independent? independent way to go 100 percent. you know what the only the only thing about a label is they make you feel like you're it's like oh i made it i got a label you know and they parade you around here they come here they come i really made it and then they put you on the shelf and it's like what the <laughs> mm-hmm. right now they now they've paid you to go sit down no it's like um eh, you know i don't want to be paid to go sit down Right. Literally That's not like what I a came bench. here to do. Literally yeah. a bench. Yeah. It's like, nah, nah. Nobody likes that. Because you're more so looking at it as like, okay, now my creativity is just going to be heightened because my resources are now going to be, yeah. you know, just undisposable. So, you know. I'm at like, the time, no, I didn't feel like that. I didn't no. feel like that. And then they're like, we want more music. We want more music. But it's the, the music that you give them, it, it's like, they want more out of you so that they can kind of get you by the neck like that mm-hmm. <laughs> and be like, we own this and we own that. It's like, you know what? They don't own anything. First thing I ask them before signing my contract is how do I get out of this? Mm-hmm. And if, if I don't like it, then the answer to that is as an artist, you own your own intellectual property. And as long as you can execute that again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they have the hard drive or whatever it is. But after five years, it becomes your property again. I mean, it's always right. going to be your intellectual property, but you've given them the right to, to it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Dropping gems on them. 
that kind of ta- t- uh, ties into our topic of the day. You know, are the labels necessary in the industry? I guess it depends on how, how hard of a worker you are mm-hmm. and, and what, what your goals are. But I would say, no, I don't think they're necessary. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a large machine that makes you visible as an artist. But, I mean, they, it's about their agenda, right? A label, well, you'll come into a label and maybe have people who are gunning for you. That's why they signed you. But they flip over so quickly. Next thing you know, your people are gone, and the new people have their own agenda and their own artists that they want to push. So you get an, an, um, ignored. Exactly. Yeah. So, there, so there's definitely bias when it comes to labels. 100%. Damn. And, and you kind of don't know. You know, you go into it with ex- expectations, and anything can change. Well, you, they make you feel like you made it. It's like, yeah. oh, my God, I live in the right place. Paid me, gave me money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you're <laughs> looking at the history of all the artists that have been under this label, and it's like, oh, I'm in the right place. You know, it's like they're validating you. You feel Absolutely. validated. Yeah. But meanwhile, they might just be wanting to get you out of the way. Pew! Out of the way. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, they have their own agenda and things they want to play and projects they want to push. And maybe you're a little independent project that you started out. They caught their attention. They're like, oh my God, they're going to get in the way of what we're doing. And this is really good. Like, let's pay them to sit down and shut up. Oh my God. So it's like buying you out. Yeah. But they don't tell you that. No, they're not they going to tell no you that. that. No. They just <laughs> add some zeros to the check. Make you smile real big. <laughs> and a lot of people wow. don't know that the, some of the money that they pay you, you actually have to put that towards your own career. And then the actual money that goes towards you is a smaller amount than it seems like mm-hmm. on, the, on the, um, the contract. It just looks pretty on the contract with a lot of O's, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So careful what you sign in. Definitely and careful what you sign And read the damn thing. Read it. Top to bottom. Read it for yourself. Wow. They try to confuse you by use, using strange words or strange order of words. And I would have mm-hmm. never, I never looked at it, at, 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 you know, from that perspective. perspective. Like they were just had a plan to just put like literally so that you didn't interfere with their plan with a whole other artist. They just did that. Like I didn't even, I wouldn't even have thought, like I wouldn't even think that they're making moves like that. I really had no idea. Wow. No, I, I didn't either. I had to live through it and learn it and be like, oh, that's what happened? This is crazy. Well, it didn't right? stop you. It did not stop you because you are still working, <laughs> still making the wind out of my sails for a minute, though. Mm-hmm. But no, it didn't stop me. It's okay, <laughs> you know? Minor setbacks, major comebacks. That's what, that's what we do, right? Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about um, female representation in Toronto? When it comes to the music, compared to like, like now compared to before when you first started. Um, I don't know. I don't, that's not a thing that I really think about. But I mean, there's been a lot of females who's been doing music as long as me, longer than me, more than me. You know, it's cool. Like there's the Deborah Cox. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tamia, definitely oh, shout out to Tamia. Julie Black, Divine Brown. Uh, I was naming some people before. Uh, uh, Melody Fiona, it used to be Siren. Uh, Andrina Mills. Uh, are we just talking singers? No, no. It's in not. general, because like my oh my, my Mishy Me, yeah, Come shout on, out Mishy Me, my girl Mishy Me, yeah, and. Uh, Oh my goodness, there's so many. And there's some that were rappers before, and then they became dancers, and then they become choreographers, and like multi talented. And Jay Blaze, my girl. Shout she out to the movement. Blaise. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. So, what do I think of, of what's going on now? You know what? I don't pay much attention, to be quite honest. I'm in my own little bubble. Mm-hmm. I am. And, and, 
sometimes that pays off. I think more times that pays off. And then sometimes when people ask me what, what I think is going on is when I feel like, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I don't care what's trendy. I don't care what's happening. I kind of, I make music for myself. And then I share it because I was saying, like, why share it if you don't like it? It's like if I didn't make it for me in the first place for something that I could enjoy, why the heck would I give it to you guys and say, look what I made? It's like, right. might as well do on the floor and try to hand it to somebody. Hey, look at it. Look at it. I did. <laughs> and like, nobody wants that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I know those ones. You got to make sure you like it's a. It's perfect. It can, yeah, it can prevent you from even releasing a lot of stuff too. How perfect and like tedious of a process it can be to make sure yeah. you're you're releasing that right sound to them. Yes. Sometimes you have to put down the brush. That I had a um, a producer that I worked with years back, and she had referenced that sometimes the artist, it's a painting artist. <laughs> sometimes the artist got to die for the painting to be finished. Because you're always touching it, you're always thinking, "Oh, it's got to this, it's got to that." You gotta know when to just step back. It's done. Feels right. I feel good about it. Moving on. Sometimes the artist gotta die for the painting to be finished. That sounds like just dropping <laughs> gems, right? Just, just dropping just gems. gem after gem after gem. My God. Well, thank you. I'm just sharing my truth. Thank you for that. We really appreciate you sharing that with us. And we thank you for that drip. Drip right? looking comfy. Yeah, man. Love that. Then my Raptors onesie. Can you show us a back too? Yeah. Does it got a tail? Yeah, Does it got a tail? We got to see. Yeah, man. I got a tail. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Did you guys ever go to the Raptors game when they had the, the mascot? <laughs> no. No. I was watching from TV still. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, my God. It's so exciting. Like, I turned into a crazy fan. Screaming and yelling and running around, you know, but uh, proud of them, proud of what they've done and how far they've come and uh, how hard they're fighting. Mm. Who's your favorite Raptor and all time, like all, like even back to like Vince Carter time? Well, I don't have a favorite one, but I love to see them doing well. Like, I remember back in the day, our guy was Mighty Mouse. They That's what they call him. Yeah, and then uh, Yakum is so cool, and uh, it's Yakum, right? <laughs> and um, what's our? You know what? The guys always call him Drake, even though he don't look like Drake. Bad Fleet. Thank you, Bad Fleet. JP, we gotta put the comparison. Y'all gotta let us know. Does Drake <laughs> look like Bad Fleet? Let us know. Drake Fleet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the big tall guy, Mark, the French guy, Mark. Mark Gasol. Yeah. Nah, he took a trip. He he's he's somewhere else now. Shout out Mark Gasol though, but he's all time though, so he's all, he can <laughs> put him on the list. Tabs. How did I miss that? Okay. Yeah, because the games are different now. It's like you gotta. It's like the way the world's changing. You gotta find a link to watch the game. I find like for me, it's like I gotta ask somebody what site is the game on. Or it's not as easy as it used to be. You know. Yeah. Wow. Yo, things, so many things have changed, guys. So many. I couldn't even buy a party bag at the dollar store. Oh, yeah, because it's not essential. Right. Don't touch the socks or the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like, Luckily, I could get what? some water because the water is essential. Um, could you have water. imagined? Don't take away the water. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I got some coconut water in my fridge right now. It was yes. frozen. Where's your favorite place that? to travel? I hydrated, guys. Where's your favorite place uh, to travel? I'll say Jamaica because we keep going back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's great. The only thing I don't like is the sand flies and the mosquito because they love me. Mm. And last time I went, I had over 125 bites. Mm -mm. And the reason I know is because I counted sweet. them as I put the useless calamine lotion on them. Mm. Yeah, I was covered. <laughs> and useless. then they started to... It was useless. Right. So the best thing for that is Benadryl, the spray. Yeah. Actual Benadryl spray. Okay. Best. Yep. And then the best uh, bug spray is. Uh, oh, it's in an orange bottle. Uh, I can't really make it. Is it, it off? That's all? It. 
Dettol. 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 Do you have a favorite flavor of bag juice? Bag juice. Shout out bag juice. Bag juice from Jamaica. Bag juice. Oh. Juice in the bag. Bog juice. Did I say it wrong? Yeah, you did. Sorry, bog oh, juice. I did. Yes, wine. <laughs> wine. Wine, <laughs> right? Bog. <laughs> wine bog. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, when was the last time oh, you yeah, were in a... Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, back to the favorite destination. It's because oh, yeah. we keep going there. But I really want to see Thailand. I want to see um, Asia. I want to see Africa. I want to see yes. Australia. Australia. Yeah, so there's. Yeah. I can't say what my favorite is if I haven't been everywhere. So that is so, so true. Far, you haven't been I've there enjoyed yet, America. right? <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Get some sugar cane and some gin up. Hey. Uh, there's some, the struggle is real to get in those you know. And then when they're not ripe and they're kind of dry, I'm like, mm. But when you get the right one, though, you just appreciate yeah. the search. Yeah, that's true. When you get the right one, you just appreciate, appreciate the search. You know? And like you have to come like off the Once you find Waldo, you're like, ah. But when you can't <laughs> find Waldo, you're like, hey, where this guy at, man? Yeah, Waldo. and you have to come off the resort, too. I've been at the resort, and then I was like, yo, why, why is nobody making I thought that's what so people used to tell me that once you go on the resort, you have the option to get island food. No, was that just a rumor? No, you can, but you got to go outside and you got to know where to go, and it depends on where you are, right? Because, uh, what times you go to in the grill? Yeah, in the grill. And then we have friends out there. They'll come and pick us up and take us wherever, you know? Like, I really wanted to go horseback riding. Mm. And I was in Jamaica, right? Yeah. And they had it on the resort where you go along the beach and things. Like, you know what? Let's go. My husband said, let's, let's go outside and we'll find a farmer and just ride these horses. <laughs> Give him the money. Is he your Jamaican? No, for real. True Jamaican. And, <laughs> yeah, right? So we, we did. And I said, okay, fine. I said, just. Before we even seen the guy or the horse or whatever, I said, okay, just, I know when we get out there, there's going to be a crazy looking horse, and that's the one they're going to try to give me, and the horse going to look like this, and, oh, and that's not the horse they want, right? You know, what's going on? Sorry, my camera didn't think it's my phone today. You know, when we got to that farmer, he gave me that horse. The horse's he name was really? Lickle Willy, oh, and, and I'm like, which one's Lickle Willy? Like, this one. <laughs> cool, no, Why does she look like that? <laughs> so I took this stunning mare. She was like mm-hmm. nipping. Right. Thing. You know, she didn't look yeah. like crazy ass Willy. <laughs> she Shout was, out little Willy. <laughs> she was like a biatch. She didn't want to do anything I wanted to do. She wasn't listening. She stopped to eat and they're like, just give her a little, you know, a little <laughs> kick, you know, where you do the giddy up. Yeah. And she just looked at, she turned around she right where they like, like <laughs> She's like, giddy who? <laughs> like giddy what? She's like, listen, bitch. I am eating the right? bag. You're lucky to be sitting on my back, right? as fine as I am, and my fur is shining, and I'm in my magnificence. <laughs> and I was like, all right, just hurry up with the grass, please, so we can go. Right. And the farmer guy was trying to give us a tour, like how we would get on the beach at the yeah. resort. And he said, and this, this is grass, and that is a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Thanks for the tour. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Right? This okay, is a tour. <laughs> and this is the fee. <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy, though, that we went and we paid him. And Aww. He That's was really sweet. Nice. That's nice. He showed yeah. some love, you know? The local people are so sweet, you know? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Can be. They can be. Mm. I, I, we, the next time we stayed with the homegirl over in the grill. And, you know, she took me shopping because I wanted to cook, right? And uh, she took me shopping and I got some groceries. And then I figured out, what, 
may overcharge me because I'm from foreign oh, and she took no. me specifically to her friend. Do you know these little no, kids came up no. to play up to the house and eating all this candy and stuff and the littlest one, she's from America, she's about seven, says, Oh, you're the reason why we got this candy. Oh, <laughs> wow. And not only that, the groceries that I bought, she goes, Can I invite my friend to come and to, to try your chicken? But she said, No, this chicken can't sell by the road. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Or whatever. But that was the last time I shopped. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to just let them do it, right? The company yeah. was called the first and last time. <laughs> yeah, like, don't beg me this and beg me that. Like, don't beg me because you were fine before I got here. You're going to be fine when I leave. So don't act like you need me to pay for everything mm. while I'm here. I didn't come here to take care of you. It is. Thank it, you. It's, yeah, you know, you got to. When you're, you gotta, you know, careful who you travel with, you know, when, when I travel, I like to, I like to, I made it like, I, I like to go to the resorts. I like to do the whole, like, I'm on vacation. I am yeah. in vacation mode. I don't want to, I don't want to mm-hmm. rent a car. I don't even want to do that. Just drive me everywhere. Just feed me my meals. Let me know what time I got to show up. I'm going to be asleep on the beach, probably drunk. Okay. That's what I'm doing on vacation all day. Like, that's how I like to vacation. Me too. You know, some people like to, you know, like, do the whole, like, I feel like there's a difference between going on a vacation and going on a trip, you know, and, like, mm-hmm. doing, like, the whole, there's other people, like, backpacking and try, like, oh, let's take a bus and a plane and a train and an auto. I'm like, mm-hmm, no, just take me that's to the beach. That's too much. You're doing too much, yeah. Take me <laughs> to the beach. Take me to a resort. And I think and that's thing I vacation. actually... I actually burned, and I was like, how did I oh. burn? I've never burned before. I was like, black people can't burn. I was like, tell that to the burn. I was like, damn it. Right? <laughs> the, the burn says otherwise. Yeah. Oh, shout yeah. out Jamaica, man. Yeah. Shout out the South. Fan flies. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, you like to make music. Does making music run in your family? 100%. Yeah. Well, Performing music or being musical runs in my family. The yeah. actual making of the music, I think, that started with me. Mm-hmm. Like making my own music. Um, but uh, my daughter does it too now. Wow. She makes her own music. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, you can check her out at Tay Durant on Instagram. She's got a, a single drop in May 25th uh, called Alternate Reality featuring Melanie Durant. Wow, you guys are doing a duet. That's a collab. Wow. Stay tuned for that, guys. That's amazing. Thank you. So do you like, um, are you like a mentor to her as well when it comes to the game? Or does she like to do her own thing? She she likes to do her own thing. And she's, she's an observer. She's observed for a very long time. And I just. She just started applying what she learned along the way, and if she needs a little help, she'll ask. You know what I mean? If something confuses her, she'll ask, but she's, she's really quick with it. She's very intelligent. Yeah, very talented. Wow. I'm really yeah. proud of her. Good so. for her, man. Yep. She must it's be like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know how much she was observing yeah. until she was backstage uh, with my mom's show, and uh, we, we had gone on a tour through the states somewhere i don't remember where at the time mm-hmm. but um my mom does changes like i said we do a bunch of stuff so we had the band vamping on the stage and uh, my mom ran backstage to get changed and my daughter was sitting there took the mic from her sang in the backup part and was helping my mom get dressed nobody asked her to do this she just stepped in like a professional wow. here let me zip you she's singing the harmony she's right what what so proud so proud she was like, let me show Even you what I, I can do. Even though I could see what was going on, because I was on the stage still. I heard it, and I just felt like... Mm, that's, my, that's my girl. <laughs> like, a lot of people don't know that. Like, Well, a lot of people should know, but your your kids usually look at what you do, and sometimes they want to emulate it, right? Like, me personally, like, my mom was a rapper, and my, my dad made music, so look where I'm at today, like, doing this Aww. kind of thing. So sometimes when you see somebody... Or as a parent, subconsciously, your child looks at what you do. So always be careful of what you you present to your children and 
whatever the case may be, because they might just take your role. And luckily, you're a good role model because, you know what I mean? Things look blessed and you guys are still making music together and we can't wait to hear. Is there any video that she has out right now that we could like give them a little preview? No, there's, there's no nothing video. out right now? There's no visuals, no. No, in general, no does she have anything out right now? Oh, yeah. Durant, D-U-R-R-N-T. Okay, okay. A few songs on uh, Instagram, on Spotify. Okay, make sure you check out the Spotify. Make sure you check out the links. That's amazing. I love to see that. That's so motivating. Like, mother, daughter, two black queens just working, pushing it, you know, empowering each other. You're showing her the way, yes. you know? That's amazing. I love to see that, that, that support, you know? It's not a lot of, not a lot of, you know, black kids have, you know, either their mom or even their dad to even look up to and say, hey, this is, this is a good example of something that I want to do. I want to grow up and be like this or that. So, you know, she has you right there for her, right there in her corner. And she's absorbing everything, all your talent and emulating it. And you're so proud. Like, that's amazing. I am so proud. I am right? so proud every day. You know, that she's my biggest critic, too. My number one <laughs> fan and my biggest critic. I had to rewrite that video, like, four times. So I wrote the, the, the treatment the first time. And she said, yeah, mommy, that's boring like why well, wouldn't keep watching that like you gotta pull them in and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> all right you had to take it what do you think of it now <laughs> <laughs> right now she helps well you, you know but it, yeah she's like i said she's very creative mm -hmm. so, right. so she's my go-to like, what do you think of this what do you think of that she's the first one to hear it and and i want her approval so her and my mom Okay, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? I mean, I, I have the final say, obviously, but I do, sometimes you need to bounce your ideas off of like-minded people, right? Right, exactly. And you have that and solid, solid, like, support group, support system, so you can get that solid feedback from them. Yep. Well, Melanie, we definitely want to give you your roses because a lot of people don't know that you actually are one of the people that help mold the Canadian industry because I remember just watching much vibe and watching much music and literally seeing you guys on TV and it made people start researching to how to get to that level or making it actually be pot making it seem possible you know like right nowadays it's it's so easy to kind of get viral or do this or do that but to actually get into industry and maintain relationships and actually build in the industry and excel I definitely commend you because I've been watching you from like I'm very very I, like I'm very very um in tune with what's going on, and I know you've been doing your thing and you're still doing your thing, and we want to give you so your much. roses. You know what I mean? You deserve it. You deserve Thank it. Thank you so much. No, I really appreciate it. I really do more than yeah. you, know, you know what I have worked on whatever like my stuff for a long time, and like I said, when I didn't have the support, I had support myself or figure out how to execute things myself mm -hmm. you know and and sometimes it could be lonely being a team by yourself but uh as long as you have a vision and you know what you want it, it's doable it is doable i'm not saying you don't need help i'm just saying if, if somebody is not giving you the help that you need it's more important that you realize that you have you nobody exactly. else is yes. you exactly that is so important. Definitely. So important, man. Like, e yes, I'm so glad that you said that because I feel like a lot of people have been saying that to me personally, like, these days. So I'm glad that you said it because it's, like, putting it out there to the un – like, more people need to hear it, I feel like. That's why more people mm -hmm. are saying it. So I'm glad mm -hmm. that, that you're saying that and, you know, letting people know well, how it is. Back in the day, people thought you needed a huge ass entourage, and it's like, you know, what if you have a huge ass entourage, you gotta pay for them. Mm -hmm. Like, right. they, more times they're looking for you to pay for them to eat, to drink, to travel, to pick them up, to take them home. To, it's even, like, even dress mom, them up, man. even dress them up. <laughs> yeah, and, and then they got that mentality, that Jamaican mentality of everyone has to eat. It's like, yeah, everybody does have to eat, but I don't have to feed them. Like, not out of my pocket, you know? So, yeah. There's that, ways to that's make ways. an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. It's like 
like I said, like-minded people is important. Right. And, and exactly. not being a mom to a big crew, not allowing a big party to be going on in the middle of your session when that's your work. Mm-hmm. You're working. It's not a party. Put out the weed, stop drinking in the middle of my workplace. Right. Because that's distracting. I mean, everybody works differently, but if you don't need to be there, then this is this is my spot. This is what I do. This is how I do it. That's my work ethic. I love the studio. I've had to tell Definitely. people get out. And they should respect that, especially if they're going to have that, um, oh, when it's time to pop bottles, I want to get a little cup. They get a little sip it, sip it. They, they <laughs> got to they they respect when you need the space in the studio because right. the, their vibes might throw off your vibes and it's not your fault. You're in your creative space, you know? That's right. But no, they didn't respect it. They're like, that oh, girl's a bitch. <laughs> she told us to get out the studio. It's like, this bitch is paying the bill exactly. and they're not partying on my dime. Right, right. like my right. Everybody, but, but I said, good out, get out. <laughs> Everybody should be playing their part and their mm-hmm. role and, and co- contributing, adding, you know, adding something to right. to the group, you know, not just right. there and just or around. It should be a anything. full circle, you know. Yep. Shout yep. out to Circle, <laughs> Circle mm-hmm. ENT. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's what's up. But yes, before we uh, let you go, let them know where they can find you and let them know where they can find your music. You can find me on Instagram, MelanieDread.com. You can find my music at MelanieDread.com. All major links to uh, anything and everything is on MelanieDread.com. Please make it easy. <laughs> And Melanie, we actually have a, a question from one of our followers. Okay. Okay, so now, guys, we are going to get a question from one of our followers. Hey, it's Queen Bisha, and I have a question for the artist. My question is, who do you think the three top artists are trending in Toronto right now? Let me know. That's a question for me? In your opinion. Yeah. In your opinion, who would you say your top three trending artists are right now? I don't, I'm don't. the worst person to ask that question <laughs> to because I don't really watch people. But I'll say her and Tiana Taylor. Yes. And it was Lizzo. I don't know if it is anymore. She got knocked off and the that's list. that's my answer. <laughs> there we go. Shout out her and Tiana know. Taylor. I love those two. Oh man, they make some great music. Homebody is on my playlist. Every day it gets played. Who sings um, Boot Up? Ella May. Ella May. Mm-hmm. Yes, her too. Yeah, love her music. Well, hopefully. Have you seen sorry. her? Sorry, have you oh. seen Ella May sing live? I've seen, I saw her when she performed Boot Up, you know, before Boot Up um, got blowed up. <laughs> you know, was she it performed. The, the bad version? No, it was a good version. It was just before okay. she like she was performing it in front of a bunch of people, so they were like hearing it for the first time. So the it was more of like a before and after type of video. So like before um, the song, like before it kind of went viral, kind of thing. So nobody was like going crazy yet. And you know, like six months later, you know, after it went viral, so everybody's like Buddha, 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 Buddha. Okay. But yeah, I saw her do it live when she first put it out. Nice. I love that song. That's yeah, song. it's really nice. Buddha, Buddha. I'm gonna go listen to it in the car. Well, hopefully you're <laughs> tuned into some um Toronto music. Is there any Toronto videos out right now that you would like to um shoot to right now? Yeah, check out my video, brand new. Listen, of my new album, Where I'm at. Yes. Just dropped yesterday, guys. Check it yes, out. Make sure you guys yesterday. check it out. My best work yet. Absolutely, I love that video. Check it out on YouTube, guys, and streaming on all platforms. And Melanie, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in. Make mm-hmm. sure you guys follow No Polycast, follow Price the Boss, Carry Music. Shout out our sponsors, Circle E and T, Black Race Studio. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Episode eight. We out of here with the great.